During glycolysis, glucose is converted to pyruvate through a sequence of chemical reactions. In the first reaction, the 6-carbon glucose is phosphorylated through the use of two ATPs, converting them to ADP, and this produces fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. This phosphorylation makes the molecule, that is fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, much less stable, and therefore the fructose 1,6-bisphosphate then splits into two 3-carbon molecules, known as glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Each of these glyceraldehyde 3-phosphates is then converted into pyruvate. Therefore, you get two pyruvate molecules because each of the pyruvates also has three carbons. During this stage of the reaction, four ATPs are produced from four ADPs. In addition, an electron carrier is used. Two NAD plus are reduced into two NADH. This entire process takes place in the cytoplasm of cells. And since no oxygen is used, it's considered to be anaerobic. Overall, two ATP are produced. And this is because although we produced four ATP in that last stage, we used two ATP at the beginning. So overall, the net ATP produced is two for every glucose molecule.